In this video, we'll be building a Your Life in Weeks calculator in Google Sheets. This project is inspired by Tim Urban's blog post on Wait But Why. To build this project, we'll only be using Google Sheets. Previously, I created a basic Python script for this calculator. You may find it helpful, so I'm linking it in the description. However, we'll do all of this in Google Sheets. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. To begin, you'll need to create a Google Sheet. To save you from watching me complete the mundane task of creating my Google Sheet, I've already done it, so you can copy this exactly as it is. I've titled my Google Sheet, Your Life in Weeks Calculator. Similarly, I've titled my Worksheet, Calculator. Then I've created the following headers, all of which we require. How old are you? This is where the user will be able to input their age. To what age do you expect to live? Users can define their living age. Years remaining, that'll calculate the years left from the inputs. Months remaining, that'll calculate the months left from the inputs again. Weeks remaining, That'll calculate the weeks left from the inputs. Days remaining. That'll calculate the days left from the inputs. Your life in weeks calculation. This is where users will get their answer. Before we move on, I'm going to enter an input for how old are you and to what age do you expect to live? To keep the math simple, how old are you? Let's say 25. To what age do you expect to live? Let's say 50. Let's move on and create the formulas for the remaining columns. Let's begin with years remaining. This cell is going to take the inputs of how old are you and to what age do you expect to live and return the years remaining. We need the following formula equals B2 takeaway. A2. Next, months remaining. This cell is going to take the input of 12, representing 12 months, then multiply that by the calculation in years remaining. We need the following formula. Equals 12 times D2. Next, weeks remaining. This cell is going to take the input of 52, representing 52 weeks, then multiply that calculation in years remaining. We need the following formula. Equals 52 times D2. Finally, days remaining. This cell is going to take the input of 365, representing 365 days, then multiply that calculation in years remaining. We need the following formula. Equals 365 times D2. Now that we have these formulas, let's move on to building out the string that will display the results for a user. Your life in weeks calculation. Let's build the formula to show a user's results from the inputs and calculations. We're going to be working in the cell next to your life in weeks calculation. It's going to display a string with the data from the remaining columns. Of course, the data in the remaining columns is only possible because of the inputs. It's going to be a long string. We're going to be using the concatenate function. To begin, it'll start as follows. Equals concatenate and then we'll open a pair of brackets up. We're going to insert the data for the days first, working backwards. So let's open up a pair of quotations, and within those, let's write, you have, then outside of the quotations, let's insert a comma, and let's include a empty pair of quotations. That's gonna represent a space in our string. And then another comma, and let's enter this out G2 because we want to insert that piece of data into this string. And again, let's enter a comma 
and include an empty pair of quotations to represent a space. Currently, this formula represents the following. You have 9,125 days. As mentioned, the empty quotes create a space in between the elements we're joining, and you can see that here. And by using the cells number, i.e. G2, it dynamically inserts that data. Now rather than you watching me repeat myself by creating this formula, I'm going to speed ahead and create the rest of this concatenate function in Google Sheets, and you'll see what it looks like once I've completed it. So here we have the complete formula. And as you'll be able to notice, it's very similar to a repetition of the first element of the function that I walked through with you. So we have a string in between a pair of quotations, then we separate that with a comma, and then we include an empty pair of quotations, which represents a space. And then we insert another comma, and then we reference the cell that we want to draw the data from. So initially, we entered G2, so that represented the days remaining. But as you can see, as we move through the function, we represented and we referenced the other cells, for example, F2, E2, and D2. And those represented weeks, months, and years. Now, if we press Enter, the formula should work as intended. It will concatenate, i.e. link together everything we want in a chain. Let's say we want to increase till what age do we expect to live to, to 100. If you do that, you'll see how everything in the sheet updates dynamically. As you'll have seen in this project, with the help of some functions in Google Sheets, you can advance your no-code skills. Taking this further, you could create another sheet, hidden, to house the remaining columns, as they do all the calculations, and simply allow the users of your sheet to enter their inputs and get their results returned. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.